And your name? Steve Lieberman. And where'd you go to school? I started at Weber Elementary School in the third grade. And I went to Parkway Central Junior High School and Parkway Central High School. I graduated in 1969. Fantastic. And what kind of memories do you have from, from growing up in Parkway and attending schools? Uh, well, I was, I was, I'm proud to be a public school graduate. Um, I think Parkway High School is probably one of the best public schools in, in town, maybe even in the country, and I'm, I'm proud of that. And how does that help you in your job that you have now? What do you do now? I'm a physician. And what kind? A urologist. I'm a surgeon. Mm -hmm. And Very good. I, uh, well, I, I think it, it set the, the groundwork for everything I was able to, to achieve academically and personally. I think it, it um, for example, when I went to college, I was, I was ready. Uh, college wasn't a big adjustment. I knew that I had the, the tools and the skills and the study habits to excel, and, uh, and I did. And, and it, it seemed like every advancement in education I took was, uh, was based on the, the foundation that was established here. And so it's, it's really a wonderful opportunity for me to come back and say thank you. Oh, that's nice. Um, any particular teachers or, or memories that you really can remember that you know were a stronghold for you? Well, I have lots of memories of different teachers. Um, there was a, a, a couple of Russian teachers. I don't know if anybody's ever... The, the school district taught Russian. It was one of very few school districts in, in this area to teach Russian. I think there were five school districts that offered Russian. And the two teachers that they had, their names were Mr. Breitberg and Mr. Danishevsky. And uh, there, were very, there weren't a lot of students that, that elected Russian, but these guys were fantastic. And they were, they were, they were characters. They were, Mr. Breitberg was a, a, a professional musician before he came to the United States. And he was a violinist, and he came and he'd bring his violin and play his violin. So that was a really fond memory. And it really, uh, when I went to college, I had to do a, a language requirement, and it, it got me out of a year of, of taking Russian and put me in a very, I mean, that, that was the hardest thing I did in college was my one year of Russian because I was in like a, an advanced Russian class. And, and now I have uh, a few patients who are Russian patients, and I'm able to talk to them in Russian and, and tell them that they don't have cancer in Russian. It's kind of cool. Uh, and, and they all tell me that I don't have an accent. When I speak Russian, I don't have, they go, how come you don't have an accent? And so that, that's kind of a, a neat thing to. Well, that's a great connection and a link from yeah. your schooling to, uh, to your practice. Yeah. What kind of advice would you give students in Parkway? Pay attention in class, do their homework, work hard. Um, allow the process to happen. Um, if, if you're bored in school, there's something wrong and they should try and fix it uh, because school shouldn't be boring. Uh, it, shouldn't, it should be fun and, and it was fun. Well, that's wonderful. And, uh, what does the Hall of Fame award mean to you? It, 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 uh, it's something I've wanted to do since I left here. I wanted to come back and say thanks. And so that, it, it's an opportunity to say thanks to everybody, teachers, these, the people that put this on. I mean, they go through a, a great deal of work to put this on. Um, Ex-principals, it gives me a chance to say thanks to my family for being supportive, so. Wonderful, wonderful. And um, anything else you want to share with us? No, just thanks. Very good. Well, congratulations on your award. Thank you. All right, thanks.